All right, David Harry here. And in this video, I'm trying another idea out for doing some kind of wind blocking on the DJI Osmo Action. Now what it is, I've just done something recently, which was like a wind filter type system. But with that one, you know, you have to kind of glue bits and like buy separate bits and stuff like that. Now for someone like me, that's all okay, because I like fooling around with stuff. But I do appreciate that that type of thing isn't for everybody. In fact, it's probably not really for many people at all, if, if truth be known. Because, you know, rightfully so, most people just want to buy something and use it. And, and if they've got to add something to it or something, they just want to add it simply and not do all the faffing around that I do. Anyway, so what I've done, and um, actually, there's a little story behind this as well. Um, what it is, one of my favourite YouTubers, Mr. Robert John Kerr, who's actually, at the moment, well, actually, for some time, he's been my favourite vlogging YouTuber. So I'm kind of trying to take a few tips out of his book, to be honest, because I need to get out more and do some vloggy things. Um, and I've been watching tons of Robert's uh, videos because he's brilliant at it. And he uses a GoPro, hence, you know, what this idea is for here. And on that note as well, there'll be a link here. Go and check out Robert's channel, he's awesome. Um, he, he goes out into the wilds in the, you know, well, I'd say the northwest of England. It's mostly North England that he does. Um, but he goes out to some amazing places. And also, he's dead brave. He, he goes out on his jack and, like, sleeps on his own on mountains and stuff. Or big hills and moors and things like that. But check out Robert's thing there anyway. Yeah, so basically what it was, um, I was having a little bit of a, a natter with Robbie on uh, one of the uh, the comment sections on one of his videos, I think it was, or one of mine. And it said, like, you know, I got rid of the GoPro 7 uh, in favour of the action. Now, during the conversation, I'd already said, like, you know, and I sold off all my bits. But then I remembered I still had um, a, a box with some bits in, one of which is what, GoPro users would refer to as a wind slayer. Now a wind slayer is just like a piece of foam that encapsulates the camera whilst it's inside its skeletal case. So I thought, well, do you know what? That's probably gonna be even more useful for action owners and stuff because it's all well and good covering the camera with something, but a lot of people wanna leave it inside its case. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Now the thing is, this foam filter isn't designed for the action. So there's a, there's a bit of give and take here, you know what I mean? Um, there's holes that are not in the right place. The front screen's blocked, but I don't mind the front, the front screen being blocked because I don't use it even when I'm looking at the camera. Plus it switches off after a while. And even if you were to use it all the time, you're just gonna waste your battery anyway. So like I say, it's not perfect, but at the very least, it does cover the microphones. And also it's gonna give some form of wind protection um, now, whether that's going to be as good as the solution that I tried myself, I don't know until like, I have a listen to it. But nonetheless, it will afford something to the camera and protecting its microphones. So it's definitely worth trying it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go off into the park proper, into one of its fields. Uh, because I will definitely be able to pick up a fair bit of wind. Because it is a bit breezy today. Okay, so this is me in one of the fields now. What it is, I'll stand still for a bit, because what it is, I'm so out of shape and stuff. I start getting like heavy breathing and stuff when I'm walking and it probably doesn't sound that cool on the camera. Um, anyway, so what it is, there's a slight breeze going on here and I will be testing it shortly without this little foam thing on it, just so we can get a good idea of like, you know, what it is or it isn't like, you know, knocking out. Also, there's a light aircraft just gone overhead there. Be interesting to hear if I'm still coming through okay, because that was quite low. And of course, these are Omni mics, right? The wind is just kind of, or the breeze has just picked up a little bit. So let's just see what that's doing. Now, the thing is, and I said this in the previous video as well, you're never gonna knock out all the winds. But the thing is, sometimes you might only need to knock out a very minor breeze. And if you can do that and have like, you know, as it were, a great recording, then that's gonna be awesome. But if on the other hand, you can't knock it all out, but you can still hear what, you know, what the person or what you're saying, you know, after you've recorded with a bit of wind and stuff like that, as long as you can still hear the dialogue, I think it's probably arguable at that point that, you know, you, you, you kind of like, it's kind of job done almost. Bearing in mind, you can't knock it all out. It's, that's gonna be like near on impossible with something this size, only because physically 
the amount of thing that you would have to attach to it to block the wind proper is not going to be feasible on something this small okay so as i've been talking here there has been a bit of a breeze there's some blowing in from the side there straight into one of the side bikes as well so it's going to be interesting to hear what that is or is not doing right so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to flip over to without the wind filter on okay so without the wind filter on now and uh, what i'll do just for the example here without the wind filter on i'll just explain a little bit of like what i've done technically with the setup on the action so what it is i put it in fully automatic mode because when you're in front of it there's really no way you can kind of like intervene manually with the settings that easily so rather than fool around trying to make minuscule changes when you're only gonna have to keep doing it and turn the camera around and all that type of stuff it's just not worth trying to do anything manual really so what i do is set it into fully auto and i kind of do that thing where it favors faces or whatever that function is for exposure but i find that it doesn't really seem to do it or at least with me it doesn't so what i've done here i've put on them um, like you know the, the spot exposure function and i've told it to take exposure from the center of the frame so obviously i mean oh well i should be in the center of the frame as long as i'm pointing the camera properly that being the case hopefully it's exposed a bit better on me so like i say this is all fully auto and right now i've got the spot the uh, spot uh, exposure function into the center of the frame now the other thing as well with the audio on this because i do appreciate that a lot of people don't want to mess around too much with audio either in post or maybe they don't they don't know how to do it well all i'm doing here is applying a little bit of limiting and that's all so i'm not re or or compressing just a bit of limiting now on that point as well there's a video here and um, where you can go and watch a plugin that i use which is a vst plugin which is what i use for doing me limiting functions which is very very easy to use so if anybody has got a vst compatible editing system you can get this plugin for free so maybe check that out because it'll help you raise your volumes a bit louder in post without having to go mad and learn loads of different things and whatnot anyway so without the uh, the wind filter on it has been a little breezy coming in and out you know so hopefully we have heard a bit of a difference here and don't you know don't forget as well you know th these breezes and whatnot with, with or without any kind of filter on you're not gonna wipe them all out that's just not gonna happen so hopefully with the filter on you know we got we had an appreciable attenuation in the wind and stuff like that anyway i'm gonna put the filter back on and i'm just gonna talk this one out as i walk back down the other end of the park Okay, so the wind filter's back on now. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna walk through some trees just on me kind of like little talky out bit at the end here. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because that spot function or that spot exposure function, I just wanna see how well it's gonna gain up uh, for me going into these trees, right? The wind's just picked up loads there as well. So hopefully it was dealing with that okay. And hopefully it wasn't getting wiped out completely without the filter on either okay so i'm just gonna walk through these trees and kind of like talk my way out of this now uh, say talk my way out of it it sounds like i've done something weird and i've got to talk my way out of it yes i did something weird i started the youtube channel right so what it is i'm just gonna walk through here specifically just to test the function which has got absolutely nothing to do with this video uh, and that is this uh, this the spot center exposure thing um so yeah as i went through them trees there this is really just for me i suppose but as i went through the trees there i just wanted to see if um, you know that's going to come out okay and maybe that is the trick to use and the action especially for like vlogging um you know to to have it uh, take exposure straight from the center of the frame because hopefully that's where you're going to be mostly um the thing is obviously if it's turned the other way around and you're pointing at stuff you can go into a number of different manual modes with stuff like that because you're kind of like able to concentrate and intervene and change things and whatnot but for vlogging you know i think you're fairly much stuck with auto i think what you you could possibly lock off your your white balance you know if you're going to be staying in the same type of environment but your exposure and whatnot you've definitely got to let that go and do its own thing i reckon anyways i think that's probably about it i think i've uh, done enough talking and i've now run the risk of going into dave waffle land here so yeah i'm gonna get off so anyway 
this will go up on the DJI forum it'll go up on my YouTube channel and all that stuff and if anybody's kind of come across it let us know if you think this is like you know as effective or semi-effective because the other thing as well I think I may have found one which is designed properly for the action so I'll get that and do the same kind of thing with that as well oh yeah and don't forget check the links i don't know if it'll still appear now but there'll be a link in the in the description to robert's channel so yeah go and go and check out somebody who knows how to vlog properly and don't watch me <laughs> anyways i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now